after you've done that, you're going to go back, and if you have a really small brush, it's the best, but you're going to go back and get the, a little bit more of the white shimmer. Close your eye, and it's just going to go on the inner corner of the eye. Just kind of blend it into that peach and down just a little bit. Again, kind of almost like a C shape around the inner corner of the eye. Then you're going to take your white liner pencil that came in your kit. Um, you're just going to draw a little white line in between the wings. Just a little white, not necessarily a line, but kind of fill it in just a little bit with the white. Let me turn this way. Let me do this side. And then this is the tricky part. You're actually going to take the white and you're going to be lining the inner rim of your lower lashes. So, are you ready? <laughs> Does your mom usually do this to you? Look up. I know, this one's not very fun. There we go. So just right on the inside of that lash. <laughs> Yeah, she does do that. She does do that one. You remember that one? <laughs> okay, let's do this side. I'll do it quick. I'll try not to make it too painful for you. Okay, so just, yep, that inside rim. So underneath is where the, eye, the brown is, but you have to kind of pull the lid down, and it's inside the rim of the eyelashes is where the white goes. So after you've done the white on the... Um, the lash or the lower lash inside the lower lash line and then in between the wings you're going to do your mascara. Uh, go ahead and look up. I'm going to do the bottom lashes first. You don't need too much on the bottom las lashes. Look this way for me. Just a little bit just to kind of define. Look all the way up to the ceiling. There we go. Okay. And turn this way. Perfect. Now you're going to put your fake eyelashes on after you do the mascara. The reason for that is if you do the mascara and the eyelashes at the same time, you're going to kind of ruin your eyelashes and they'll only get about one use out of them. So it's also nice if you before will curl your eyelashes, use an eyelash curler just so that they kind of match the curl of the, um, of the fake eyelashes. Here's just kind of a helpful hint on how to do these, these eyelashes. Okay, so just do a dot. I mean, you can do it on your box, on a piece of tissue or anything. And let it just dry just a little bit. Then you're gonna take your lash and just kind of run it through there. That way you're not getting too much glue. And you squirt it right onto the lash. Sometimes a lot of glue comes out. And it's really hard to get them to stick if you've got a lot of glue. You're going to let this dry just a little bit so that the glue kind of becomes tacky. Otherwise you'll be holding the lashes on forever. And close. These are half lashes so that you're actually going to take the longest part and goes all the way to the outer corner of the eye. It, the, you don't want to go into the inside. You want to go to the outer corner of the eye. And stick those on. You're going to have to hold them for just a little bit. Is it sticking? Are you okay? Okay. All right. Once we've got the eyelashes on, you can do the glitter. Um, there's in your um, kit came this little, it's a, a, an adhesive. So you'll get a little bit of the primer and just you're going to do a little bit right where you did the white before, just underneath the eyebrow. 
We do it on this side as well. And then you're going to take your glitter and just get some on your fingertip, easiest way, and touch it right to the adhesive. And it's okay if some of the glitter kind of falls on your cheeks. Just give you a little extra sparkle. Okay. All right. So next we're going to do the blush. And when you do the blush, you want to make sure that you start up towards the hairline, not down on your cheek, so you don't get a big circle, rosy red cheek right there. So you're going to want to start, probably tap your brush off just a little bit and start up and kind of pull down. Again, staying up a little bit higher, not down on the cheek, but up more on that cheekbone and pulling it down from the hairline. Bringing it in kind of towards the nose. Let me see. Um, now you can always put more blush on. Most girls come with not enough, and I'm always saying get more, more blush, more blush. So if you think you look crazy, you probably finally have done it right. But you definitely want to have a lot of blush on. Great. Okay. Next, we're going to do the lips. All right, you're going to take your lip liner, I think it's called Brandy, yep, and you're going to just line the lips really good, and you're also going to fill them in so that they're nice and dark, really, really dark. Don't forget to fill in the lips. Can you open your mouth just a little bit? Yeah. You want to really get a lot of this liner on so that your lips your lipstick will stay longer and the color will last longer. All right, once they are lined and filled in, you're going to take the other, um, the color of lip gloss that we'll, we'll let you know what the exact color is, but and you're going to take that lip gloss and put it right on top. You're going to open your mouth just a little bit. There you go. This is actually more like a lip stain, so this really should last pretty long. Get the upper lip. I'm gonna let that dry. And then you'll use the, um, the other end to kind of give it a little bit of shine. Seal everything into the, all the makeup into your face. You're just going to want to dust some powder over it. Or you can also use a brush to do the powder. Yeah. And that will just kind of lock all of your makeup into place. Beautiful. And then you're done.